after its announcement, one of my most anticipated games now up and coming in the future is State of Decay 3. I'm really excited about this game, guys, uh, for a number of reasons. And obviously, I have not played uh, the other two games in the, in the series, but I can definitely say from watching the reveal trailer and such and starting to kind of do a little bit of some research on this series as a whole... I wanted to go ahead and give you guys the top five things that I would like to see out of State of Decay 3. And so with that, guys, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this. What do you guys think in the comment section down below? A person who doesn't have any familiarity at this point in time with State of Decay as of yet, definitely going to be changing that very shortly. But I wanted to go ahead and kind of go from based on the things that I've seen from gameplay, from the things that I've seen from reviews and things of that nature on the State of Decay series up to this point, I definitely wanted to give my two cents. So mainly, guys, the top five things that I won in State of Decay 3 are going to be based around the trailer that we got at Xbox Game Showcase. So let's get into it. So at number one, guys, I stated uh, that... You know, when I first saw the trailer for State of Decay 3, reminded me a lot of The Last of Us 3. This is an Xbox approach, in my opinion, to taking on The Last of Us, and I love it. I love the added competition there, but the first thing I really want is for State of Decay 3 to be itself and to kind of just be its own thing, not trying to copy what is, you know, come before it. I think that there's certainly elements of it that can kind of take, you know, kudos from The Last of Us or try to even evolve those things and make it even better. I am very excited about that. And from watching the trailer, a very well-crafted trailer, in my opinion, the best trailer at Xbox Game Showcase. And with that, I would really like to see, you know, a Last of Us style Xbox exclusive, and I think that State of K3 is certainly going to be that. I just want it to be it itself, not to try to, you know, copy things that made The Last of Us successful. So that's at number one. Number two for me, guys, is I think from watching a lot of the other, you know, State of Decay games, I'd love to see new characters, new enemies, new environments, like different locations that you can explore. And I think we're definitely going to be getting that here after watching the trailer and such, watching gameplay of the other, you know, uh, State of Decay games, getting some familiarity, giving, getting some characters that are new, having some characters that are, that are, you know, from the other titles, I think is really important. Having new enemies, Looks like we're definitely going to be getting some new enemies in State of Decay 3, which I'm really excited about. Having new weaponry, new ways we can traverse the world. New locations, guys. Having like those, you know, uh, locations that are familiar to us, but also having locations that are totally new, I think are going to really help kind of make State of Decay stand out and really become a staple in the Xbox exclusive, you know, uh, exclusives that are out there for, for you know, um, for this title and for just Xbox as a whole. And I just think having familiarity is good, but also having those differences is very good as well. That leads me to number three, guys, which I think that, you know, I talk about this all the time on the YouTube channel about having full packages. And State of K3, I believe, is going to be another full package for Xbox, that being campaign, a really visceral campaign, having multiplayer elements, co-op elements, and things of that nature, I believe, are going to be in it. But I would love to see State of Decay 3 have more emphasis on multiplayer and co-op modes. And here's why. When I look at the landscape of gaming. And then when you go on Twitch, when you go on YouTube and you start view, you see the viewers and see how many people are watching other streamers play these games, State of K is not getting a lot of engagement. And I think one of those reasons is because after you beat the story, of course there's multiplayer, but I think that it's important that there's more emphasis there on the multiplayer and co-op. Not saying that they that takes away from the story, but I'm saying that at the end of the day, after you beat the, the single player story, most likely if there's not a lot of other things to do, you're going to move on to other games. So what I would love to see guys in State of Decay 3 is a lot of emphasis on multiplayer to kind of take this from, you know, where it is at this point and really take it a step further. Like that of like, think of Halo, think of Gears of War, think of these titles that are Xbox exclusives that do a really good job of having Having a single player story. They also have, you know, co-op modes. They have really great multiplayer modes and people are coming back over and over again to play those games. And so I would love to see that here with State of Decay where this can become a staple for Xbox as a whole. And I think the way you do that is by multiplayer, having co-op, things to do outside of the single player story.
story, because after you're done playing the single player story, you're definitely, if you love the game, you want to come back to it, but if, if there isn't that much to do, you're going to move on to other games. So I hope they do that as a whole. And that leads me, guys, into number four, which as a whole, guys, I think having, you know, new weapons, having all kinds of different, you know, characters and such that you're able to have at your disposal for multiplayer, for co-op, even in the campaign would be an interesting concept as well. But I think having a lot of ways to customize your characters, customizing the things that you're using, your, your weaponry and such, in multiplayer, having a lot of customization options. And I'm not talking about having a lot of monetization tactics. I'm talking having things that are earnable items within the game, having things that are earnable over pay I think is really important for State of Decay 3. Having ways that you're able to earn items with, within the campaign, within the multiplayer co-op, that you can show off when you're in an in-game lobby with a bunch of other people getting ready for a matchup. You've got like a lot of you know, different ways that you can have different titles, emblems, ranks, and things of that nature that you can show off to other people, and I think that's really important as well. And you can really show how much time you're putting into the game, and other people can see that, and they try to earn the same things. And so I think it's important to have, you know, different customization options as well, and even more so, even more multiplayer modes and things of that nature, so you're able to play a lot of different styles, whether PvP, PvE, whatever it might be. And that leads me, guys, in a number five. And I don't think we're going to have a problem with this, but I've seen this happen time and time again in the horror, with horror games. Dead Space is an example. You know, you could even bring up some of the Resident Evil games. You could bring up a number of titles. Uh, and I think it's important that, you know, a lot of horror titles out there will change what made them so great. So, for example, Fear and, and Dead Space were, you know, horror with action elements, and they changed over time to action over horror, which meant basically that they were going to have, an, it was an action game that tur that kind of had some horror elements to it. And what I'm getting at, State of Decay 3 looks like a, a very visceral horror-style game with action elements. I want to see horror over action, guys, here in State of Decay 3. Stay true to what this series is all about. I think it's important that there's certainly going to be action elements to it, but stay as a horror game because that's what's really going to keep on bringing people back. And State of Decay 3, the way they presented it and promoted it at the Xbox Game Showcase definitely got me so interested because of the level of intensity and horror that looks like it's being put in and kind of dedicated to this, to this game. And that's an exciting thing. So with that, guys, State of Decay 3, those are the five things that I really want to see uh, in this game at this point. I'm sure this list will change as we get more information, as we see gameplay and things of that nature. But right here, right now, those are the things I want to see. What do you want to see in State of Decay 3? Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more State of Decay 3 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.